One of the worst feelings is going into an unfamiliar environment, not knowing what to do and putting yourself at risk for looking stupid. That's how I felt the first time I stepped in the gym and started lifting weights. I wasn't sure what to do at first, so I just kind of look around, see who's the strongest, and try and copy their moves. But then I got my own lifting plan and became a lot more comfortable in the gym and learned different ways of doing things. But I wouldn't say the gym is always comfortable. There are un some uncomfortable moments in lifting weights and stuff like that, but I'm more talking about just the people in there and caring what you think, what they think about you. Without further ado, we're gonna break down five to six points on how you can go from looking stupid in the gym to looking swole. Shifting your mindset. By this, I mean I want you to stop caring as much what other people think about you and and going to the gym and also the exercises you're doing there you might be doing some weird exercises like I've got a few looks when I, I'm doing wow. some neck training they say it might look like blowjob training right. but it really actually does help the neck and there are some other exercises that might look a little goofy in my routine but they get me good results so I'm gonna keep doing them despite what other people think about me having a game plan so this is key because if you don't have a game plan, you're going to be going in there kind of guessing and not really knowing what to do. So getting a personalized game plan, whether that be just looking something up to follow from the internet or actually reaching out to someone like me or another trainer online or in person to get an actual plan that you can follow every time you come into the gym, then you're going to have confident and certainty in what you're doing and that it's going to get you the results you're seeking. Minimalist fitness. So basically use what you're going to use for the current exercise you're at, put the weights back. I mean, this is all very simple stuff, but I like to call it minimalist fitness because I do sort of consider myself a minimalist in my day-to-day -day life and trying to keep like stuff organized and not have like as much stuff and more focus on just life experiences. So I'm a big fan of minimal minimalism. If you haven't seen any of my past videos, I've done some on it, but I also like to apply this to fitness by only using what I need to use and not hoarding the equipment. Lifting tolerance. By this, I mean lift what you can tolerate with good form. It depends on what your goals are going into the gym. For me, it's mostly hypertrophy and bodybuilding. I want to look and feel awesome. So. I'm going for that mind-muscle connection. Another quick tip I wanted to include in here is progressive overload. So if you're not sure where to go with the weight, start at like one of the lowest weights, maybe like 10 pounds on each side. Say you do three sets of 10 real easily. Next week or the next time you hit that body part or exercise, try and up the weight five to 10 pounds do three sets of 10. If you can do that, then continue to up the weight like by five to 10 pounds until you get to a point where you say one time you do three sets of 10, but you can on the last one, you can only get to maybe seven. So the next week you maybe drop it down or keep it the same and try and get up to like continue the progress. So that's a little bit about progressive overload. <laughs> Trying to keep your grunts under control. <laughs> oh, sh wrong noise. <sighs> Gym clothes. So I just like to wear mostly Under Armour for the most part, but you can go with Gymshark or any other kind of clothes. I wouldn't like buy them all the time like I did say I'm like a minimalist so I haven't really bought too much clothes in a while I wear similar stuff maybe I'll upgrade in the future but getting some gym clothes will kind of help you feel a bit more normal in that environment so yeah guys to summarize the points they're all about really just getting consistent staying disciplined and reaching our maximum potentials. Speaking of reaching our maximum potential, you guys should check out this video right here next. It will go perfectly with this video. There's a bunch of reasons in there on how you can reach your genetic potential. So if you want to check out that, click right here.